Hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I'm a 3D artist and uh, animator originally from uh, Uganda uh, in East Africa. Uh, currently I'm based in uh, North Carolina. And uh, I'm here to show you uh, some new features, uh, especially in uh, 3D Studio Max, um, the Nitrous engine and the screen display. So right here what you're looking at is uh, the viewport and there's a quick animation that I, I made using some motion capture files and I rendered this file just one frame of this file and it's called it took me about seven minutes to be able to come up with this frame now what I'm trying to point out is how cool the improvement is in uh, the nitrous engine um, you can tell I've added a camera with a depth of field uh, this specific camera ha had to be like a 35 millimeter with a, a 1.2 uh, f1.2 and so let me show you how much faster uh, this particular clip can be created using nitrous we including all the shadows including the uh, reflections and uh, the uh, also the soft uh, shadows coming from the mental ray um, omni lights. I have three men mental ray omni lights and one uh, spotlight with a, a soft shadow. All right. So what I do is I come here to the wireframe, click one time, and switch to realistic. So what you're looking at is real time um, nitrous engine showing you what the scene looks like and as I slide backwards you can see the shadows and it takes about maybe a second before the screen redraws and you can see the soft shadows so imagine if you needed to do like a quick render just to preview what your animation will look like um, you could either render <laughs> you know to try to get that extra quality in there and it will take you about two to seven minutes for me what I did was I, I cranked up the uh, the resolution and all the way up so I could actually get the soft uh, rendering of the, uh, the depth of field and if I select my camera here and go to the properties you can see uh, the lens is about uh, 27 uh, millimeter and the depth of field is enabled and you can see it as a, it's at an f-stop of 1.0 and yet if I move this and then instantly you can see the depth of field being calculated and I can also zoom in a little bit more give it a minute actually not even a minute like seconds and you can see the depth of field so I encourage you to utilize uh, the nitrous engine wherever possible to do like quick uh, previews and you will not be disappointed if I were to go into the uh, configure viewports and you go to the uh, display perform no actually visual uh, style and appearance you can crank this uh, either all the way down and you can see the difference in the uh, the shadowing how much uh, it's kind of a little bit granulated and pixelated and if you go back to configure viewports and you crank it up all the way to the top very high quality and you say you can apply to the active view and say okay and, uh, and just uh, <laughs> less, less than maybe two three seconds you get this nice render so what can you do with this uh, you can go to the tools menu up here and go to view views grab viewport and create an animated sequence and what it will do is when you do this it asks you you know what the percentile is you want to use all the render settings and right now I'm using a hundred percent or you can do fifty percent and also set the uh, the frame rate and the range so I was able to actually do that and render out an animation that looked really cool and I'll load uh, After Effects real quick let me pause this alright so let me uh, load After Effects 
and show you a sequence of images that I rendered uh, from I rendered from frame um, zero to frame about uh, 174 and this was using this uh, camera before you know I played around with it and moved it back so it's about this right here okay and so here goes this is the file this is the file that I was, I was telling you about so if I were to zoom out a little bit and uh, do the preview so again I'm just trying to show you how you can make a very quick animation using the nice nitrous uh, viewport in 3D Studio Max and check this out Go ahead and play this. How cool is that? You can see the shadows. You can see the uh, the uh, depth of field applied. And what I did is I put like a little wiggle rama, you know, on an adjustment layer. But everything else that you lo you're looking at here is from the nitrous uh, <laughs> viewport grab as a sequence of uh, images. And what I used was uh, PNGs. So in just a quick, you know, short period of time you're able to, or at a short period of time, you're able to render out a quick animation that you can show to your uh, director or even the client. So I hope you enjoy this feature. And thank you again. My name is Solomon Jagwe. Uh, my website is www.sol.com, S-O-W-L.com. Thank you so much, Autodesk. Bye-bye. Mm,